Hey guys, welcome back to Develop Event Manager. In this video, we're gonna talk about how we can create a custom page template for ourselves. So suppose you are designing a website and you don't want the default templates that is being provided with your theme to be used, right? So when we try to create a page over here, uh, it can be the Gutenberg editor, it can be the classic editor, it's solely on your choice. Under the page attribute section, we will always see a template section over here that will include a drop down. For this theme, I am using 2020 WordPress default. And uh, we have three templates to play with either is the default one, the cover one, or the full width one, right? So we can include a custom template inside this drop down over here and use it as well. For that, Let's open our WordPress dashboard in a new tab. But actually, I will highly suggest that you use an FTP for this procedure or your web host default file manager. Because if you make any kind of PHP mistakes in this website while trying to create your own custom template, it will lock you out of your website showing an error 500 and you cannot get it back unless you fix it, right? So if you're using an FTP or a, your web host default code editor, in that way you can fix that very easily and you will gain back access to your website quickly. And if you are using the editor over here and if you make a mistake, you have to go back to your FTP or your web host and fix that manually, then come back over here. So that's a long process and using FTP is a safe hand anyway. But ignoring all this safety feature I have just advised you to follow, I'm gonna go ahead and use a IDE over here in the WordPress itself. But I highly suggest you don't. And how you can create a custom template, you ask. We will go inside the themes directory under WP content. We will open our active theme directory. So if you have a child theme that's more good, make sure you create the file inside your child themes directory, right? So we're gonna create a file. We can name it custom.php. We're gonna click on create and we're gonna open this file. So to tell WordPress that we are creating a new custom template, we need to type a commented block of code over here. How we can do that? Pretty simple. We can type in template name, colon, the original template name that we want to use. So as you can see, we have a PHP tag over here and a comment inside we have template name colon the template name as custom so that will tell the wordpress that this is a custom template and it will show up over here in this drop down till now this page doesn't have any content or anything to show it's just a blank template as of now i have a bit of code copied to my clipboard that we can paste over here and i'll explain a bit as well so this code you will find into my github i will leave a link in the description so firstly, we have another PHP block that says get header. So that will fetch the WordPress header for us. All the necessary stuff, assets, file, uh, XML, RPC. And then we have the main content area. Then we have the sidebar and the footer. Pretty simple. Let's save this file and we will reload our editor over here. And we will see a magic when we click over here, it is drop down we have the custom template showing up over here. So let's select that. We'll type in our page title as hello custom template, right? And we can type in our description as well. Maybe let's say this page is using a custom template built by us, okay? Now let's publish this page. So next we're gonna open this page a new tab. So as you can see, this doesn't look very appealing, I know, but this is a custom page indeed, right? So this page layout over here is the custom page that we have just created over here. So this is how you create a custom page template for yourself. I am not gonna go ahead and show you an extensive demo that will take a lot of time, like modifying these codes over here to give it a proper look. But instead, I will advise you to play with the code over here. Don't make any PHP error, but create your own amazing layout. And if you're having any kind of trouble or failing to understand anything in this video, let us know in the comment. I'll make sure to help you out as well. Until then, I'm Sharad saying goodbye. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like this video if you did, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.